go sign of scorpio welcome back to the channel my name is tisa so great to have everyone here so i'm here now looking into october the 15th through november the 1st is 2023 everything of course that you do need to know about me it is going to be right down below and it is in our description box i do thank you so much for all of your love and your support and your donations all right so let's see what we have going down right here okay okay let's see what we have going down right here this is for the sign of scorpio okay I will be doing an extended version after this as well. So take a look at your extended message. Money problems, work, material things, success. Okay, so this is successful, success type of card. Okay, let me see what else here. Scorpio. October 15th through November the 1st. All right, so we have right here a snake. Hmm, unbelievable. And then we have right here surrender. Let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. So somebody's going to be heartbroken right here. Yeah. They're definitely going to be heartbroken right here. If they was being fake in some type of way. All right. If somebody here is disappointing you or something like that. Because this card right here says hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointment. Okay. So somebody here could be heartbroken right here. I'm not sure if something here was some illusion or whatever with this mystery card. It says unknown enigma illusion. So I'm not sure here something's an illusion. I feel like this is right here now. Yeah. Because we got this pumpkin right there. October the 15th through November the 1st for some of you right here. By the way, happy birthday, son of Scorpio. This is your season that we're looking into um, at the end of the month, going into November. So happy birthday to some of the Scorpios here, okay? Somebody's could be heartbroken right here. If they was being deceptive or shady or they was tempted or there was an enemy in some type of way, they're going to definitely be heartbroken right there, okay? They, they know right here they have to let you go for some people right here, okay? Letting go, release, give up, and patience. Okay, so some of you, you might give up something right here, or maybe they gave up something like that. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, this is Scorpio, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. Scorpios, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, sign of Scorpio. Okay, this is October the 15th through November the 1st, 2023, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. Yeah, they're really heartbroken. Oh my God, somebody's really heartbroken right here. Right here, it's the Three of Swords and this one right here. Somebody is really heartbroken right here, Scorpio, about something right here, okay? Three of Pentacles, maybe it's a third party. Three of Pentacles right here and a Three of Swords. So these two threes could be a third party. It doesn't have to be, okay? Or somebody else interfered or something or something like that. What's the message here, please? Nine of Swords right here. And then we have down here the King of Pentacles. So this could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And for some of you with the King of Pentacles showing up, maybe this have to do with um, a work situation for some people here. Okay, or a husband. That also could be significant here. I'm going to like, somebody's heartbroken. Could be a husband for some people right here. Okay. Um, let me see what else I can get here. Scorpio. Community. Put your match over here, please. Imprisonment. Right here, please. And we have coffin right here. Okay. So, all right, expectation right here. So I just feel like somebody here is giving up and giving up about expecting something. And whatever they're expecting right here, I feel like it's a little bit heartbreaking. I feel like it's a lot of heartbreak right here, actually, with two cards right here speaking about a heartbreak. Um, so I feel like, you know, it's, it's a lot of heartbreak right here for somebody here, Scorpio, okay? It doesn't have to be you. Sometimes we pull your energy and it could be somebody else around you that's experiencing it. So it definitely don't have to be you, okay? But um, that's what I see here. Three swords right here and heartbreak card. This is definitely heartbroken right here. Somebody is, okay? Um, so it could be the fact that somebody has let go of something here in some way with this one right here and this one. So perhaps they did let go of something right here. This one right here says let go, release, give up. Okay, so I feel like somebody let go and that's kind of heartbreaking to somebody right here. They may feel powerless about something right here with the prism card. Okay, maybe this had to do with a pregnancy for some people here. Okay, um, I'm not sure if somebody here was tempted to be, you know, deceptive or, you know, if they're enemy or what, you know. But I'm getting like, you know, whatever they was expecting to do over here, they could be definitely heartbroken. I feel like they were expecting something here about money. With the king of pentacles right here and the finances card so i thought they was expecting something here about money for some people here all right well they was expecting to be a husband to you or to them or whoever okay 
Let me see what else we got in here. Hmm. Let's pull some more. Let's start with this row. Put the three of swords, please. Okay. Now, a pentacle flip over just like that. Let me see if I can get a good shuffle here now. Okay. What is the three of swords, please? Three of swords right here. What is the three of swords right here? See, somebody's going to figure out something right here about a child. Um, the three of swords is the heartbreak card. They're heartbroken right here about something, right? So somebody's going to figure out right here something right here about a child, maybe. That could be what the heartbreak is about. It could be about the fact that somebody here is cheating and lying or they're a thief or something like that. That also could be what the heartbreak is about. I do feel like some secret is here with the high priestess. Now, you're very towards a sign. Perhaps you can pick up something right here about something that's going on in some way, okay? Um, the Ten of Pentacles right here. This even could be about money. Okay. The Four of Swords right there could represent a health concern. Okay. So is any of those things for all the Scorpios watching here? Somebody's heartbroken about one of those things right here. Um, I feel like it. The Knight of Pentacles right here. Somebody could be thinking about these things. And I feel like something about it is heartbreaking to somebody here. Okay. It like it could be an Earth sign right here. The King of Pentacles is over here. Could be a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo possibly. Okay. That's heartbroken about something maybe. Okay. So let's go up here and see. We have the heartbreak card up here. Right. And we have this snake person over here and his finances. So let's see what the snake right here. Which talks about temptation, deception, shady, or enemy. What's the this, 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 this snake card please? Okay, reconciliation card right here. It flipped over reverse too. But um, in reverse, maybe somebody here is not getting a second chance, and that could be what they're heartbroken about. They want a second chance with you. Maybe they did. Okay, I feel like somebody did want to get back together with you. They could be heartbroken right here because they was thinking that you was going to miss them or something like that here. Okay, was a snake card. Okay. If, this is what I'm getting right here. If they're deceptive, shady, or tempted, or, or enemy in any kind of way, they will be stuck, I feel. They will be stuck. And they, maybe they're heartbroken because they're stuck here for some people here. But they're going to be stuck, I feel, with this card right here. Yeah. See, and I feel like for some of you, it has to do with a house for some people here. All right? And then others have to do with um, comfort. Safety in some type of way, shelter or something like that. That's what it had to deal with. Okay, what's the finances card? I'm hearing all right, this is what I'm getting here. I'm getting like six five zero zero. So I'm not sure if that's somebody's address right here with the home card, six five zero zero, or is that amount of money that we're talking about? But six five zero zero, okay. So we have right here the finances right here. We have celebration events, public social gallery gathering. So it could be a party for some people right here. Okay. Somebody could be heartbroken about a party. What's the message right here? Or finances or something like that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I feel like somebody got drunk at a party. It says right here toxic attachment, drugs. Alcohol obsession right here. Okay. Alright. I'm not sure somebody paid for sex. I don't know why I'm getting that right here. It doesn't have to be the case, but it could be for some people right here. Because I got the finances right here. And then addiction right here. So it could be paying for sex or it's paying for um drugs or something at a party or like a party drug. Okay. Just kind of seeing it right here. Okay. So anyway, yeah, okay. Um, let me see what else here. Okay, what's this? Okay, I feel like they want to reconcile with you. The crossroads was already out here. Sorry about that. This one right here says multiple options, choice, a turning point. Well, somebody here definitely could be indecisive right here. Okay. Yeah, somebody's a player right here. They're manipulative right here. I feel like they definitely was tested right here. Either, um, it's a third party testing them, I feel, sexually for some people here. It even could be, though, drugs, too. Something about drugs right here. Could be right here. I have this one right here. I'm not sure something here's about drugs right here or alcohol or something right here. Okay. Okay. What's the heartbreak card? Mm, so, no, just like that. Okay. Third party, yeah. So, for some people, it's a third party here. Somebody's heartbroken right here about traveling. 
they're heartbroken about a third party. I feel like somebody's texting with a third party for some people right here. It could be somebody here that's at a distance, maybe. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like somebody's heartbroken. They did want to reconcile even with the third party or with you. Something like that. Okay. They're really heartbroken, I'm getting right here. Yeah, they're definitely really, really heartbroken, I feel right here. Let's get one card over here for this coffin. What's the coffin card? High honor. Hmm, bad health. So, either you have this person in high regard right here, or um, something like that right here. Something here could be about a soldier or somebody in the army. Could be significant in some type of way. Okay, what's the message right here? This coffin card. Yeah, some message is coming right here. Okay, maybe it has to do with um, health or anything else. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and do an extended version and see whatever else come out here for you for mid-October of 2023 for the sign of Scorpio. Like I said before, take a resonate with this message. Don't make it fit here if it's not your story. And like I said, it also could be somebody else right here that's telling you about these things. Sometimes you come up with a reading, it may not even be about you. It could be about somebody else telling you this, this happened to them or something like that, okay? So anyway, this is what I have here right now. Thank you so much, and I send you all peace, blessings, love, and light. Namaste to you.